friends, it's Molly. How's everybody doing? I want to talk to you about writing gigs today. Just a few quick points. Um, I know a lot of people come onto the site and upgrade to get access to the writing gigs. So here's a few quick tips. Um, first of all, there are a bunch of gigs that will not have company names on them, but will say ISA Verified Pro. Um, these gigs are posted for companies by the ISA, um, companies that we meet with and get mandates from. So I know it's it's a little bit um, nerve wracking sometimes. You, you might question, well, I don't know who I'm submitting to. Should I do it? Normally, I would say, no, you shouldn't do it. But in this case, I would say yes, because it's an, it says ISA Verified Pro, which means that we took the time to meet with them and talk to them and get their mandates and post for them so that they can get the material. This is just so that their, um, their anonymity is, is protected. They don't want to be contacted by a bunch of writers directly. These are big, big companies like HBO Max, Hello Sunshine, Fuzzy Door, Lucky Chap, great, amazing production companies. Um, so you can rest assured that if it says ISA, ISA Verified Pro, um, click submit, no problem, you are in good hands. Um, the second thing I wanna talk about is because there are so many different types of gigs, you will not fit everyone, right? It's just kind of how it works. So please make sure that what you submit, your script that you're submitting matches the gig. So for instance, if they're looking for a contained thriller and you have a high budget, multiple location, huge cast movie, please don't submit that. It's not what they're looking for. Pay attention to the mandate in the gig and submit if you have something that matches it because these gigs get a multitude, hundreds and hundreds of submissions. And if the project, if the submission doesn't match the mandate, then A, it takes longer for the posters to go through everything. It takes longer for people to hear back. B, they might say to themselves, well, this is a bit discouraging because I'm not getting the, the scripts. I'm not getting material that I'm even asking for. This doesn't work. So we don't want any of that to happen. We want it, the system to work to be used how it should be used and to match up the writers and the producers or the directors or whoever is posting. So please be really um, careful to submit to gigs that are right for you and that your log line actually matches because that is the first thing they're going to see, right? It's your log line. So make sure you have a really succinct, uh, eye-catchy, hooky, um, great log line that matches the posting. Okay, I hope I didn't hammer that too much. Um, it does take time. So I know like you wanna hear back right away. You, you see the gig, you're like, oh, I'm totally right for that. Click, submit. And then you wait and you wait and you wait. And you're like, why am I not hearing back? Okay, so that is a game that is, is really tough on your psyche. Just walk away, start working on an next project, um, start, um, continue to work on the project you just submitted, whatever it is, walk away and continue to work. You will hear when you hear. It might happen in a day. It might happen in a week. It might happen in two months, okay? It takes a long time for these uh, posters to go through their gigs. And there's a process. Um, you might hear that you're under consideration, okay? Awesome. That means you are on the right path. You have something that fits and now they're just really deciding if they want to take it to the next level. So that is fantastic news. Good. You're going to wait again, probably after you're under consideration, because now there's more people that are probably going to have to look at the project. So um, please be patient and and just don't 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 obsess about what you just submitted. Walk away. And when you hear you hear, I know that's much easier said than done. Um, and then the last thing I want to talk about is um, the range of gigs as far as um, as pay. There are some that are um, low pay, deferred pay, no pay, high pay, above scale. They're all over the board. Submit what's right for you. I'll say the same message. Um, if you are at a point in your career where you're not taking low or deferred pay, don't submit to those. But there are a lot of people that are still starting out um, and getting their feet wet and need those stepping stones. 
Um, and something that's a low, low pay or, or no pay or deferred pay, that most likely means it's a low budget production. So nobody is really making money on that, right? Um, and probably the producer is losing money on it until it gets to a certain point. So it's great to be a part of those projects if you're just starting out. It's a great way to get your foot in the door, to meet new people, make new connections, get into a festival or on a producer's desk so that now more people know about your material. It's a great way to do that. But if you're not at that point anymore in your career, then you're not. Okay, so I'm just saying, submit where you're at in your in your career. Um, there's there's something for everybody. Okay, uh, that's it for me. I'll see you again soon. Have a good one.